All right, let's do this. All right, guys, we are here on YouTube Live. Now, the reason why we're here is because, let's face it, the shit has hit the fan in Australia. There's no doubt about it. Coronavirus is running rampant, all right? Well, so, it's not running rampant yet. We're trying to stop it running rampant. No, it's, it's done. We're done. Apocalypse, mate. It's happening. <laughs> all right, so I hope you guys are staying safe out there. There's no doubt about it. It is an important thing to do is to that social distancing. Um, we've cancelled the 4x4 show. We haven't, but it has been cancelled. The thing is, the reason why we're here is because we are going to run the Live the Author Adventure Dream competition and we're going to announce the winner live on this special event. So if you've entered, then you've got a chance to win all this gear behind me, except for that thing. And, um, you know... It's going to be one lucky winner. Now, I don't know about you, mate, but it's pretty serious out there. Yeah, it's a shame we can't go to the 4x4 show, but um, let's do it here. Millions of people will watch it. Well, that's it. Millions are going to watch it now. Now, I hope everyone is sort of keeping that, you know, that safe distance. You can see Simon and I are sort of keeping that, you know, government regulated safe distance. And, uh, but the thing is, when it comes to Simon, like, you know, COVID-19 or not, uh, I think you want to keep your distance from Simon anyway, especially when he gets on the beans when we're out in the bush. Take it easy, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. All right, let's roll. Which camera are I looking at? Dave's again. Oh, <laughs> off gassing. <laughs> See, I told you, I'm not, I'm not kidding you. But anyway, look. Uh, the biggest, the biggest thing that um, we're a little bit concerned about is also the indigenous community. So they have locked themselves away, which is rightly so. Um, they are a fragile environment up there with the elderly, uh, the lack of health care, all that sort of thing. So I hope you guys are staying safe out there, okay? Especially Tommy and the crew as well out on uh, Mornington Island. Probably a good place to be, mate, it, isolated out on an island. Yeah, quite possibly. One of the best places to be when it comes to uh, this COVID-19. I definitely don't want to be near the capital cities, that's for sure. Hello. So make sure you stay indoors or basically do what the government tells you. You know, at the end of the day, we've got to do, we've got to do what we're told. Just be sensible <laughs> and look after each other yeah. pretty much. No, that's what it's all about. All right, guys, that's enough about the serious stuff because let's face it, we're here to give, put a smile on people's dials when it comes to, uh, you know, giving stuff away. Now, in this show, we've got so much planned for you. There's so much uh, uh, things to watch, okay, over this live event. Uh, we've got a heap of season 11 stuff coming up, so which is the Cape York trip, remember that one. And of course, um, a bit of Unleashed. So if you haven't, if you don't know about Unleashed, Unleashed is the uh, streaming platform that you can go and watch all sorts of all for adventure stuff. I think there's like 130 hours of uh, Unleashed television there with all for adventure from, you know, breakfast to dinner. Now, um, Simon, as I don't know about as you. As always, mate, at yeah. the show. Heaps of other people get some random prizes. Yes, they do. Don't forget, we're going to do that too. All the sponsors' gear we're going to give away. Yes, yes, that is true. So every year we do stand up on the stage, and for those people who are like right in front of us at the 4x4 show, we used to give away a heap of stuff. We did. So we're still going to give it away. Yes. So we're still going to do that. Now, um, if you just keep watching, you'll see how that's going to, you know, how we're going to do that because you're obviously not standing in front of us, so we can't really hand it to you. <laughs> <laughs> and if you live in a different state, well, you're just going to have to wait to come and get it. Well, here's the other thing. Here's, this is the best part of the, the doing this, uh, like, so these extra prizes, is the fact that you guys that are watching it, like watching it here, and you're interstate, you're not standing in front of us, you could possibly win that stuff. This stuff? Uh, Oh yeah, they'll win, they can win that stuff, but we're talking about the, the, like, the, the extra stuff. prizes, you know what I mean? So I'm sure, and of course you I'm can sure win this everyone one. just wants to win this stuff. <laughs> well, one lucky person. Yeah, wow. Yeah, one lucky person. So, yeah, look, there's, there's no doubt about it. Season 11 was an absolute cracker of a series. Um, we do, I think it's like, it's like we go, what was it, six years since we were in the Cape? Love the Cape, mate. Seriously. Yeah, it was six years. Yeah. Six years, and it didn't seem like that much, you know, because Simon and I actually go to the Cape a lot more than, than a lot of people, I reckon, because just about every holiday, you're twice. 100%. He's twice to the Cape <laughs> at the end of the year. I'm once for a long time. Uh, so, you know, we, we're going back and forth from the Cape all the time. And to go back there and film season 11, people just loved it because you've watched it on television. It's actually repeating on television at the moment, by the way, on Channel 10. But yeah, season 11, absolute cracker in the Cape. Now, it was also our first. 
It was a first. We're back in black. <laughs> the anticipation. Exactly. And, and like, yeah, you know, there's a lot went into it. But what an animal. Out in the oh, bush, what, what, what an animal. Look, so if you were to watch the, the rig builds, the back and back uh, rig builds, you, obviously I was doing the build while you were sort of, you know, where, where were you at the time? No, I was out lands around. Yeah, probably the around. Right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you might have been at the Cape. Uh, maybe checking the areas out that we had to go to. <laughs> so right. when I revealed it to you, you remember it? Yeah, when absolutely. I yeah, yeah, it took it down the paddock and came yeah. the hell out of it. What well, is your act? Just a beast. Like, how much fun is it to drive? <laughs> and it's kick ass. Like, it's hardcore. Oh, it is a yeah. beast. There's no, no doubt about it. It is a show beast. truck. Yeah, it's not no. a show truck. It actually can perform. And that was the whole reason why I built that truck. So um, keep watching because we are going to go to some of the exciting things that Back in Black got up to in season 11. This truck will put a smile on your dial. Doesn't it, uh, I remember hearing you going, that thing's an animal. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely an animal. I'm going to steal it when you're not looking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I got locked in the shed. Anyway, guys, so we started off season 11, Mornington Island, and there's no doubt about it, never been to Mornington Island, always wanted to go there, and it ticked all the boxes, Mornington mate. was awesome, mate. Oh, I was nuts. There in a like, seriously. Seriously, so we rocked up in the big boat, had to get across the Gulf Country, or well, the Gulf, the Gulf, the big water expanse. It was a bit risque. It wasn't great. It wasn't great. The weather wasn't on our side, but when we hit that island, mate, that place is insane. The one thing that I, I, I suppose, what I, if I had to say anything that I got from that island, it would have to be the people, the culture, and the fishing. Fishing was off tap, mate. Off, off tap. tap. That's the word, off tap. And what did you catch? Heaps of? Stoikers! <laughs> Stoikers! <laughs> so yeah, no, the fishing was insane. There's no doubt about it. I definitely would have to say that that's the place I want to go back to one day again, just for the fishing. Absolutely. And the people. How's Tommy and the kids at the, at the uh, primary school there? Uh, very cool. We, we, we got you know, we they they did that big dance for us on the beach oh, and the, the people and the just welcome. Awesome. So, yeah. People were awesome. Now everyone knows we are in town, so we visit the local school to say hi to the kids. When All for Adventure wanted to come to, to the island, yeah, put a bit of a, a high uh, spirit into the community, and um, I think uh, we were really looking forward to it. How's school today, kids? Good. That's the guy. Well, thank you very much for inviting us to your island. This place is awesome. Do you want to catch lots of fish? Yeah! Yeah, nice. Yeah. Good catch job. lots of fish. Are you going to tell us where your secret fishing spots are? No! No! <laughs> They're not stupid. Who eats all the mud crabs? Me! <laughs> wow. How much was that um, with the school kids here on Mornington uh, with uh, the All for Adventure crew surprising them um, on the day, uh, which was uh, awesome. and. Uh, yeah, I think they they, uh, they loved it and um, they still talk about uh, the crew, you know. Hit, hit, hard. Ah, hoorah. Oh, yeah. It's a stoinker, buddy. Oh, no oh, look at that. I think that deserves one of them. That was cool stuff. Like that, that, you know, that old guy sitting on the beach keeping the, the rhythm with his sticks, mate, that came straight out. Like that was coming straight out and it was, you know, you were listening to it right there on the beach. That was not something we put in as a, as a, as a voiceover or, a, you know, overlay music. That was gold. So Mor Mornington was a highlight, but oh, let's face it, we got definitely. up to some other pretty cool stuff. We didn't just catch fish, 
We call it crocodiles and bulls. <laughs> was it croc and bulls? Is that what you call it? <laughs> yeah, croc and bulls. Yeah, we got some croc and bulls, right? Yep, absolutely. Now, <laughs> yes, that was that was awesome. There's no doubt about it. We were wrestling crocs and wrestling bulls. But the the memorable part of the whole bull catching. When one gave me a proper hurry up. <laughs> I was there, like I'm seriously, I was right there. Now I think, and don't don't quote me on this, but it was the bull that hit Simon. That was the bull that first gave me a hurry up on the quad bike. Remember I jumped around the other side? And then I think we took off from there. And then I'm on the quad bike, you're in the side by side, and old mate eyeballs you like there's no tomorrow. He just looked and turned and just drove my heart. <laughs> Your buggy still <laughs> bearing the scars. <laughs> exactly, that's exactly what happened. He's driving along, and, and and as I could see it, because I was on the quad bike, this thing has just turned, this bull, and he's just gone, Simon, you're well, the target. Well, the helicopter, yeah, we could hear everyone on the yeah. UHF, and the helicopter's like having trouble getting that bull out. Oh, and then, yeah, then when he, he gets cranky. out, everyone's like, keep him out of the bush, keep him out of the yeah. bush. He kept wanting to go back in the bush. Yeah. Well, he was cranky. So I was, was holding, no him, I was holding him out of the bush, but then, mate, he just. I saw him look and then he just came in hard. Just oh, drove. He in just hard. drove a thousand kilos worth of bull into the side of the old side by side, lifted it up a little bit like that, dropped it back down, and then old mate literally knocked himself out cold. That was it. <laughs> yep. Out cold. Caught a bull all by myself, mate. <laughs> he nearly <laughs> caught me. His horn went right in front of my knee. I know. No door. You would have been toast. Oh, proper. Yeah. Well, there you go, guys. Check it out. Mate, your hair stands up when one of these guys lines you up. This guy gave me a major hurry up. And moments later, he peels off in front of the bull catcher and the side by side gets center punched. Lucky he hits the door and does not make it through the window. That would have been all bad. So we've got this black one who's given us grief. So I'm holding him out into the open and he has just turned around and lined me up and just smoked us in the buggy. So here is where uh, Simon's little bit of carnage. You got a bull come straight in there. That's where his horn punched a hole into the door there. It's a big hit, mate. <laughs> yeah, in Massive his head, hit. in the center of his head. Yeah. Right the door pillar, I think. I think he was lining me up. That's what it was. <laughs> he was lining something up. He was lining me up. He's, that horn is smashed right in there, eh? I'm pretty happy you put doors on the buggy, mate. Yeah. I'm really pumped about that. Oh, you, you don't want that, you don't want that um, clean skin coming in there, mate. Dangerous sport, this one. It's fun, but... It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> mate, how's that old truck? <laughs> beast, mate, beast. That thing has seen some miles, there's no doubt about it. I think they built that thing like in the 60s, didn't they? <laughs> earlier. It might have been earlier. the 40s. <laughs> Hell of a truck, still working, just. <laughs> now, the thing about um, season 11 is we also went to the east coast of Cape York and we went to a place called Woodja Woodja. Now, in uh, indigenous language, that means a place of many waterfalls, but Simon, mate, broken you Broken diffs and broken yeah, drive shafts. Thanks and, for that. And it so, didn't fail, did yeah, it? Yeah, he just like, yeah, 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 broken diffs and drive shaft, and he just, it's like he put the voodoo on it. <laughs> he just put a curse on it. Next thing you know, I'm popping out drive shafts. Yep. But it was nowhere near as bad as when we went there the first time. Definitely not. Josh, you got a copy? Yeah, mate, what's happened? I've just done a tail shaft, I reckon, mate, or something. This whole way I'm um, coming down. Now, that track was an absolute nightmare. I remember coming out, and it would have been like 8 o'clock at night, and all I heard from Simon's truck was like... <laughs> and it was like something something was eating your diff, mate. It was right. shocking noise. <laughs> oh! That's rear diff. That time of night, that was the worst noise I've ever heard come oh. out of the truck. That was a, that's the noise you don't want to hear on a track like that. And then the following morning, oh my God, going up the hill. I'm towing Simon up the hill because his rear dip is busted. And then mine. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. You didn't just break something, did you? My tail shaft is on the ground. Oh, no. That was like a shotgun going off, mate. And like I said, would you, would you? All for adventure? Broken dish and broken and drive shafts. shafts.
that was nuts, like absolutely nuts. Now, that that bit of footage or those episodes are on Unleashed.tv and... Uh, well, there's a lot there's... of stuff, yeah, there's a lot of stuff you didn't get to see on the show, which we've got on oh, Unleashed yes. now. Yeah. And that really drives home that we were kidding about drive shafts and diffs and then boom, you'll get to see all that. <laughs> yeah, well, there you go. So Unleashed.tv, there's gonna be some new unseen footage coming out on that. So exclusive to Unleashed.tv, which is gonna be pretty cool. Uh, like I said, you can go back and check out the older stuff when we were first at Woodja Woodja, or what they call the Kreb track. Yep. The old Kreb track. Yeah, yeah, the old, old, the old Kreb track. Now, the other thing too is, um, on the East Coast, it's very different to the West Coast. Totally different. Totally, rainforest. Yep, and then on the West Coast, you've got all the big open plains, yeah. dry, like Northern Territory Bulls country. Yep. and stuff like that. Um, but the beauty of the East Coast is, with that rainforest type country, you know, it gets pretty wet, it's mountainous, we got to tackle the toughest driveway in Australia. Now that's PJ's place. All time. How cool is that? You can't, all time's all you can say about his driveway. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nasty driveway and we were there on a day when it was actually quite tame. And he tells stories of actually tipping off the edge and like driving it at night, all this sort of stuff. He didn't have change on his truck for, for nothing. No. No, yeah. he's got a four-wheel drive with chains on. And yeah, and you know, you know the you know the the worst part about sometimes when we're out in the field is you can't really capture the the, the whole perspective no, of what we're the doing. Steepness. One thing you can't capture on camera camera is the steepness. I know. Of no. But that got us to the top anyway. That got us to PJ's Humpy, and literally it was a Humpy carved out of the bush. They you know they they made a spot on the top of the hill there. But PJ actually never lived there for that long. He actually spent the first or the most of his time actually in another house down the back. Mm. Like what? And, he, and, he, and how do you describe it? Oh yeah, yeah it's just down the back. <laughs> we'll go for a record, we just walk down there. No, no, we'll take the buggy. Yeah. I'm glad we took yeah. the buggy. <laughs> yeah, it's like just down the back. Yeah, it was like five, six kilometers away down some track from hell with a big log in the way and the whole shooting match and all that to find where PJ used to live in the heart of the rainforest. And you know what he used to do there? Gold. Yep, it's all about the gold. He literally was panning for gold. He was mining gold at that place. So that, well, once you say gold to me. Look out. <laughs> you and your bloody gold detectors. Yeah, yeah, we took off down the bush and um, we, we actually found gold. You did find a little bit. We found a little bit. Just a speck. It was only a little speck of gold, but hey, if you don't find gold, you haven't found anything. If you find a speck, you've found gold. It wasn't even enough to buy me a cup of coffee. Though. I don't care. It was gold. I'm, go I'm going with the gold, mate. All right, so uh, check out this next clip on uh, Woodja Woodja, the place of many drive shafts. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. What's happening, buddy? Um... Something's not good, mate. <clears throat> Something went uh, bang. We don't do bang. Oh, look what's laying on the ground. You are kidding. No, 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 no. You're kidding me. What the hell? Mate, we've actually just been mucking around saying woodja woodja and drive shafts. I wonder what all that little click, remember I told ya? The little click, clicking, clicking, and I, yep. What is it, that, for someone that doesn't understand four drives, what does that oh, mean? Oh, that's the very important bit. Uh -huh. A bit to make the back bit go round. Yeah, that's drive uh, How's the yoke too. underneath? I don't know, it's pro I haven't even had a look. No it's good? No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, PJ! What, what, what yoke? <laughs> Can you believe that's just gone and happened? Seriously. No fishing, no fishing, buddy. There's a creek right there. Fishing no, we can go. There is a creek right there. You watch me. Spare yeah, me. we can go. <laughs> You're CJ's got his gear. Got... Problem I got is there's a drive shaft floating around here. Yeah. It's going bang, <coughs> bang, bang, bang. Oh, yeah. well, we need to pull that off to start with then. And I don't know, maybe there is a curse on this place because I'm feeling the curse. I don't know, because exactly the same thing happened last time. Exactly. Uh, you got your uh, diff, lock, diff lock on there, Knight. Yeah, mate, engaging now. Yeah, mate, this this one here this is the first little real steep bit. PJ's at the top now. I'm going to gas it to the top. Copy that. Going up. Woohoo! Oh, love it. Same old thing. Cameras never do the steep ones justice. Like, this is really steep. 
This is really steep. That's where we start to climb, eh? This is where it gets interesting. Yeah, you can say that. So uh, straight up, zigzaggy. Seriously going up. Oh, wow. We finally make the top. That is one epic driveway. There's the top, buddy. We're at the top. Big rock. And I'm in it. I'm in it proper. Yeah, it's a winch job, Jase. Is that as far as you got? No, I got up the top there around the corner, but I reversed back here again just because I made it too easy. Oh, OK. All right, take out the slack. Yeah, the beauty of this country, mate, you only need, all you need is that little bit of a help. Just a Yeah, there's not a lot of, like this, we're not even, you know, we're not axle bogged. Yeah. Oh, Three. oh, there it is, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Even I can see that and I haven't got my glasses on. Yeah, look right. at that. That's a nugget, dude. That is a gold nugget. Big enough to pick up. That's a gold Ooh, nugget. There's a couple of specs there too. There's a heap of stuff in this too. Like there's a fair bit of gold in this. There's two bits. One big bit and one small bit. Yeah. Or one small bit and one smaller bit. There we go. That's pretty cool, eh? Very cool. Very cool, PJ. Yeah, for a Very beginner, cool. That's pretty good. Couple of amateurs. We got gold fever and we got gold. <laughs> Mate, this tree is huge. We need at least four cuts to get through. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo, she's gone. Gone? Yeah, he's broken. We're going to pull him downhill, so obviously the winch point is up there, so we're going to go from that tree, pulley block it back up to the log, and that'll pull the whole log sideways, and we're hoping it's going to pivot. That's why we kept it full length. There it goes. Perfect! <laughs> and we are through. There you go, mate. You can drive a bus through there now. Lovely. Seriously, that was the biggest tree we've ever moved off of a track. Ever. So how good was that? Oh. Right? <laughs> and some of the chainsawing we had to do to get there. The biggest log we've ever had to get out of the way, mate. Well, we had to go, we had to use the big chainsaw. Lucky old mate had yeah, the big chainsaw. Yeah, PJ had the big chainsaw. <laughs> oh, look there, look, there's, there's, that's right. That, that bit of chainsaw, and I think was sort of like the lead into one of the worst chainsaw slash four-wheel drive tracks that we'd ever done. I hate that track. 39 k's in uh, three days, the Nesbit track. Mate, I reckon you must be a bit sort of mentally damaged over that thing. I was mentally damaged long before that track. <laughs> yeah, well, then, you're a lot <laughs> worse. worse after He's that even track. worse now. <laughs> I'd never chainsawed so much in my life. You guys watching it, like literally, you, you don't, you're seeing like little snippets. You didn't see the hours and hours and hours and hours and hours, and then there's the next well, day. Well, sometimes you'd, you'd pull up at a log if you're in front, yeah. and you'd, you'd walk up and you'd chase all the log out yeah. the way, and then you'd sort of, oh, well, I look around the corner, you look around the corner, yeah. no point walking back to my no, car. No, keep going. And before going. you know keep... where you are, you're like half a kilometre away from your car because you just got to keep chainsawing. Still chainsawing. We did that for days. Yeah, exactly. Now, that clip, that clip that we're talking about now, the, which is the Nesbit chainsawing for 39 kilometres, is on YouTube now, so it's on. It's free on YouTube. Uh, it's a three-parter, so it's got three parts to it. Definitely worth a look. Go and check that out. Now, talking about cyclone devastation, uh, there's no doubt about it, like that, that Nesbit track, all that Lockhart uh, River area, that was just insane. I'd never seen anything like it. Like, we're talking to the point where the deforestation. Place, yeah, the place is destroyed. Yeah, they, they, they honestly thinking that it may never grow back to what it was, which, which is which is a bit heartbreaking because that is some like East that Coast again. Pristine rainforest oh, around Lockhart. Yeah. Lock insane. They got, they, insane they got species stuff. of snakes and that that only only live there. Yes, mm. that's the thing, and so it's a bit it's a bit a bit of a devastation, you know. And and Australia itself in a whole has just been put through so much. So we've had the cyclones, and then it went from cyclones to bushfires. Like the bushfires, mate, that's that's just mad. We had them right here. That's Australia for you, mate, bushfires, floods. Yeah, I know, yeah, floods, <laughs> and it came floods. And then on top of all that, boom, someone let's rocks up. Virus. Someone rocks up, yeah, let's have a virus, COVID-19. So, mate, I'll tell you what, we, we are Australians, we are battlers. Um, this country is built on battlers. Remember, in the old days, our parents, our grandparents, they used to line up when there was a Great Depression. They would line up for a piece of meat or some bacon. Absolutely. Or something like that. Like, you know, we, we know that we're tough and we know we can handle it. So don't be afraid. Just just do the Aussie thing and battle through this. We've all got to battle through it. Still won't be worse than that 39 Ks. 
Yes, it is. It's heaps worse. You, I, I know you're mentally challenged when it comes to that. <laughs> anyway, guys, to cheer us up and to cheer you guys up, how about you watch some of the bloopers from season 11? On All For Adventure, not everything goes to plan, and there can be some very hilarious moments. Check these out. Like I said, that's a bit of a run, mate, across the golf country. A big <laughs> got nothing. Go again. <laughs> Here's the gas stove, and then we're going to finish it off on the fire. What? Amateurs, mate. you got to, like, have it in my pillowcase or something. Oh, we went chasing Big Barra, and the biggest bar I could catch was 70-something. He got a 97. Yeah, good job, Simon. <laughs> go long, Simon. Go Nige's. long. Go Nige. I'm not good at catching stuff. Catch the coconut. Simon, go long. Go long. Ready? Go. Go long. Go. go. Oh. Maybe signing him up for the footy team. So it was here on the top of Inspection Hill. Now, it was named by Captain Matthew Flinders himself because it was a high point in all of the surrounding islands. It's actually quite high here and you can see lots of stuff. Milky, milky, right. <laughs> You're a f aren't you, boy? There! Well, it appears that Simon got eaten by a crocodile, so uh, I've got the job of being Jason's new right hand man. I'm very sorry about that, but um, you know, these things happen in life, so. Well, there you go, guys. We can't hang around here crapping all day. We could, but going in. <gasps> oh no! I left my window open. Did you leave the window open? Yeah, I left my passenger window open. Ah, amateur. <laughs> oh, that's hectic. I've been going to keep the inside clean too. Oh, you gonna send out the winch? Yeah. Bugger. That's the initiation. That's the initiation <laughs> part. It's, I knew there was a surprise going. Well, it's not too bad. Go. He's going to drink it all down. Drink it all down. Mate, he is hard. Oh, look at that. Swamp Bushman. <laughs> No, it's still like a remote. <laughs> <laughs> All right, put that one in the bank, Nige. In the Bushman bank. All right, let's get out of here, eh? Here's your axe, mate. <laughs> oh, you're going to get that through your foot, yeah. Still going. It's still going. It's awesome. still going. You lift his butterfly, look. How yeah, beautiful is that? Yeah, track it to the red. Oh, oh he nearly caught him. Pretty things. Oh. Butterflies. Oh. Butterfly. Simon, focus. Watch the big launch today. Don't come now with big spinning wheels. Go, don't go! Go, don't go! Get there, Joey! Up at him! Oof. <laughs> yeah! Joey oh. Dirt spitting everywhere. I'm gonna drive my four wheel drive down the old town road. I'm gonna drive till I can't no more. I'm gonna take my two wheel drive. Oh, big country. You can close. Drive to La Kino. <laughs> what was that, mate? You forget you had four wheel drive. Oh, I just did two wheel drive. It came through and then the car just went. <laughs> <laughs> Put yours way, way back here. Way, way back here. Chomp. Look at the size Chomp. difference. Go on, look at you swallowed it all. <laughs> did that hurt? That was like the cane at school on steroids. Pull. You're gonna pull it really hard. Harder. 
<laughs> Maybe a big one should do this, I reckon. No, keep pulling. Pull. Pull, mate. Pull. No, Come on. This just sounds like a trick. <laughs> it is a trick. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you do baseball, I mean, there's generally something. Give me no. a go. Come on, look. How hard is it? Oh, how hard is it to pull it out, Nike? That's what you call a stitch up. <laughs> oh, not red. Well, you never roll up and go action, you just sit there pointing at us and we're meant to do shit. No, we say, roll it! <laughs> We've got issues. <laughs> Definitely got issues. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that one. Anyway, so a lot of people are asking, uh, when's the next season? What's happening? So it's season 12, yes, it's coming. Uh, it, it's it's, it's, it's going to take some time to film it this year. But we're going to we're going to work around it, and we'll get onto it. And there's a lot involved in in the filming and the editing and the pre-production, the post-production. All those things go into a whole year. What do you do for the whole year? Well, I'll tell you what we do. There's so much to be done. Uh, social media is a good way to keep up up to date with what we are up to. Uh, Instagram at the moment, I've got a Jace 4x4 Instagram page, so check that out if you get a chance. Simon, you've got a Simon I'm not, 4x4? I'm, I'm not very tech savvy as you know, but I have got an Instagram page. I don't put much on there, there you go. but I have yeah. got one. Yeah, so he has got one, Simon 4x4, so Jace 4x4 and Simon 4x4. Um, you get a chance to check it out, I think Simon posted um, how old were you when you posted last? Yeah, I think you were 12. A while ago, a while ago. <laughs> I actually saw something on yours the other day, you were selling your truck. Yes, yes, well there you go. If you keep up to date, you'll see that I've just sold the truck. It's on, go on. Uh, yeah, look, it lasted, I think, uh, we put, we launched at three o'clock on a Friday and it was sold pretty much by that afternoon. That's so probably time you built the new one. Yes, well, I've got to drive something. So yes, there's some new rig builds coming this year. Um, we're in full swing now as we speak when it comes to uh, rig builds. So keep an eye out for that one because a lot of people love the rig builds. You know, the back and black is an example of that. That thing is global, old black and black. Uh, there's people around the world still watching that thing and still asking, still asking for uh, someone over in Australia to build them. So there's a lot of back and blacks gonna be possibly built to be sent overseas as well. So rig builds, they're in full swing. Don't forget to check them out. They'll be launched onto social media and of course uh, YouTube. And of course, there's the gear page on our website. Don't forget to check that one out. It's got a list of all the gear that's used on each truck. So if you want to know what goes into each truck, then there you go, gear page on the All For Adventure website. Now, the other thing we've got going is uh, Unleashed.tv and we've actually going to launch, and you're going to like this one, you're going to like this one, Simon. So next Thursday, we are launching uh, an Unleashed special. Now, um, I, I, I think you're going to have some more mental issues on this one. The good old bush um, walking. Yeah. You don't need to tell me, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, you, you seem to be having a few mental issues out there. I don't know whether it's just because, you know, I might be the one causing those issues. Definitely, 100%. <laughs> you gotta watch this one. Um, we go for a stroll. Um, basically, uh, you know, I won't give it away too much, but we go for a stroll in the bush and Simon's not happy uh, at all. Uh, but I do Are deliver you showing the... the behind the scenes stuff with that though, where I'm actually carrying half the camera gear. No, don't worry about that. No, you don't see, you don't see that. Yeah, you no, just see so me whinging and bitching. We're doing, we're doing live, yeah, exactly. We're doing live television here, mate. you got to show them the real stuff. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, but we're delivering, I deliver in the end, don't I? Yeah, 100%. You sure? Well, well not always. <laughs> We've done some walks and not caught fish. All I heard from you was, I'm never going to follow this guy again. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, check out the trailer. Now, remember, that's on unleashed.tv. Uh, and, and look, there's not just new stuff dropping all the time, there's also a huge library of everything to do with All For Adventure, uh, everything to do with Unleash Seer. There's a whole, you know, there's three mega series of Unleash Yourself and these special coming up on Thursday. Here, check out the trailer and see what you reckon. I'm really convinced we're going to get really lost. Really, really lost. Ah, oh. Bitten by a wasp. It's not great. You don't want to be lost in here, trust me. Who doesn't love a good bushwalk? Me. Oh, I'm on, I'm down, I'm down. They're losing confidence in their leader. 
I'll be some anarchy soon. Probably a mutiny. You've got to be able to go remote and you're going to get that really cool fishing setup. The further we head north, the better. Head north and see what we can find. I've got the plan laid out. We just got to find this river system and we've got to track up the river system and then we've got to go on foot. Where the hell are you taking us, dude? And this is genuinely, sincerely, I mean this sincerely, this is the last time I follow this man through the bush to go fishing. Wow, well, mate, that was hardcore. I had no <laughs> idea it was going to be that tough. <laughs> Mental issues. Like I said, <laughs> if you watch that, trust me, it, you'll, it'll blow your mind. That was, that was a little epic trip. It was all time. Exactly, there you go. He said it was good. He wasn't saying that on the day. Oh. Anyway, guys, so I guess you're holding out for the uh, Live the Offer Adventure Dream Prize giveaway. Uh, there's no doubt about it. Everyone must be getting excited about who's going to be the winner, who's going to drive away with all this great stuff. But in the meantime, before we get to that, right, we've also, for those who don't win, like, because there can be only one winner. Someone, someone's got to lose. That's just about everyone else. All right? Pretty much. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a week of epic prize giveaways. Now, they're going to be on Facebook. They're going to be on Instagram. So make sure you stay tuned on social media and keep an eye out for that entire week of giveaways from our awesome sponsors, mate. mate. we're so lucky and grateful to be paired up with some awesome sponsors. Oh, yeah, exactly. Not only did the week prize giveaways after we give the Live Well for Adventure Dream away, which is absolutely epic and with and everything. Everyone has forgotten what we're giving away, one of the big part of the prize, Isuzu D-Max. Yes, yes. Similar to the one I drive on the show. Yeah, camper trailer. Five grand's worth of gear yes, from, from BCF. BCF. Uh, tinny, outboard. Um, there is so oh, there's uh, there's you know there's there's all the gear that goes onto the trucks as well. We've got the tray that goes on the back. Man, there's so much gear. The, the, there's even a bloody quad bike on the back there as well. Now you're waiting for it. I know you've been worth it. There must <laughs> come on, mate. Get on with it. Get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> only one. There can be only one winner. So let's let's not muck around. Let's start. All right. How do we do it? Give me the envelope. There it is. There we go. Here it is. I've got it. Did you see that? Just appeared on the side. Yeah. Um, so happens. in here is the winner of the Live the All for Adventure Dream Prize giveaway. Look out. And, I don't know, do some drum, drum rolling roll. or something. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. That's yeah. the worst drum roll yeah, ever. Yeah, love it. Yeah, there is a piece of paper in here and it's got someone's names on it. Or name, that is. Okay, because there only can be only one winner. Let's have a look here. Here Come we on, go. Mate, stop dragging it out. Oh, you got to drag it out, mate. That's how it works. All right, the winner is from the winner. Wait, wait, wait. The winner of Live the All for Adventure Dream prize giveaway for season 11 of All for Adventure. Um, oh, there it is. And the winner is Candace H from postcode 2906. Well done, Candace. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. You have just won one of the best 4x4 giveaways in Australia. Hands down. <laughs> hey, now, hey, and if you didn't win, well, that sucks. Oh, it does a bit. we've got a shitload of other prizes to give away, so hang in there. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. We do have a shipload of uh, <laughs> other prizes to give away all next week. Don't forget to check on social media for it, okay? But... In the meantime, we're going to go and head out, hopefully soon or later, not sure yet. We're going to go and film season 12 of All for Adventure and we're going to be running the Live the All for Adventure Dream Prize competition again for season 12. Yeah. Because it's so popular, it's out of control. How many entries? I don't know, it's millions, isn't it? No, no, yeah, yeah, it's in the millions. I think we got up to 1.8 million entries. So That's there you awesome. go, guys. That is the most popular competition, I reckon, of its kind in Australia. There's no doubt about it. Now, um, the other thing too is those prizes are available next week. So we're gonna have heaps of competitions for those people that didn't win. Check them out. Um, don't forget to get on YouTube um, and watch the YouTube videos. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to YouTube, okay? Turn on all your notifications. Uh, get on to uh, unleashed.tv. Uh, get on to Instagram. 
You guys see Simon 4x4. I'm going to post something soon. Do a post. I there will. you go. He's going to post something. I'll post something. Uh, check out Jace 4x4 <laughs> and, of course, All for Adventure, uh, Facebook and YouTube. And, of course, uh, All for Adventure on Instagram. So there you go, guys. Stick around because Season 12 is going to be coming at you very soon. Um, hopefully in this state of affairs that we've got in front of us. And what do we all say at the end of everything? See you guys somewhere off the beaten track. No, you... Mine's off somewhere off the beaten track. We'll see oh, you guys sorry, next sorry, time. sorry, sorry. Okay, guys, we'll see you guys next time. Somewhere off the beaten track. There you go. All for Adventure is proudly equipped with Clearview accessories. Special thanks to BCF, MDC camper trailers and off-road caravans. And thanks to all of our sponsors that take us off the beaten track. They help to bring you with us on this adventure.